Dr. Sean. Chef. What are you making? Today I'm going to try baking. I'm not a big baker, but we're going to make a tart with a maple syrup cream filling. I'm from Quebec, so that's uh, why I'm choosing to use the maple syrup. Do you like maple tarts? I absolutely have ma love maple syrup. I've never had a maple tart. Let, 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 let me get this. You have never eaten a maple tart, you have never baked, and you're going to make me a maple tart. It's going to look good. I don't know if this is going to be your typical maple tart, Chef, but it's going to taste good. I hope so. Thank you, Chef. When I really love something, whether it's for school or it's for cooking, I study hours every week. I'm making the Yukon wild boar. I'm gonna do pan sear it. I've never cooked wild boar before, but it's in the meat family, and I know meat. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Closer, closer, closer. 30 minutes! You have 30 minutes left. Come on! Hi there, Veronica. Hello, Chef. Now, tell me, what dish are you cooking for us? I'm going to do a seared Arctic char with pickerel stock, with clams, and making some potatoes, carrots, and I'm going to throw some squash in there in the last minute. Sounds like you've got a lot going on. I always seem to. <laughs> I go big or go home. Good luck. It's really good. I am making a wild boar in honor of my father. He loves steak and potatoes, so I'm just going to do my own take on that. At home, I do all of the cooking. My parents separated when I was 16 years old, and I took it upon myself to put on the mom's shoes. I'm here to win Master Chef Canada, so I can make sure my father retires and my brothers have a good life. Vince, you work very clean. Yeah, kind of driven that way. Yeah? Got a lot at home in the family. I got to keep things in order, otherwise it all goes to chaos. I have two sets of twins, four daughters, and they are the best thing ever in my life. What are you making exactly? I'm making clams in uh, just a classic white wine sauce, some tomatoes, some fresh herbs, some shallots. Just clams, only clams? Just clams. I'm gonna make it pretty, I'm gonna make it worth it. All right, keep going. For sure, thank you. I'm making a pan-seared arctic char. I'm gonna pickle some blueberries in a screech mixture that I made and make a bannock. I'm a very creative person, so with food, I consider myself a mad scientist, I guess. <laughs> I need to show the judges that I am creative and I, I deserve to be here. Sauce, come on, sauce. Five minutes! Five minutes left! Sean is making a tomato rose. Oh, he loves that, He loves he? to go back to the old <laughs> classics. Yeah, but you know what? That takes a lot of good knife skills. Oh, yeah, baby. I want that advantage, like, very badly. I feel like my flavors are good enough to get that advantage. You have one minute left! Oh, I'm worried that the judges aren't gonna like my dish. It's just not coming together how I thought it would. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go. 5, go 4, on, guys. 3, 2, 1, heads up! Oh, yeah. The judges have been observing and tasting throughout the challenge. They now take one final look before choosing the most promising dishes. The winner of this mystery box will receive a huge advantage in the upcoming elimination challenge. The first home cook we like to call up was not afraid to take a risk. Call my name, call my name, call my name. Thinking like subliminal messages. That home cook is. Dr. Sean. Put your dish up to the front. It's a tart with a maple pastry cream, a meringue on top, and blueberry coulis. So refresh my memory. You're not a baker, right? Never made a tart in my life. Pretty amazing. Thank you so much. Just the way the flavors all come together. The tart is crispy. It's well balanced. It's not too sweet. Great job. Thank you so much. Chef Alvin, the man who does not like desserts. Why does everybody think I don't like desserts? <laughs> is it because I'm not a sweet guy? <laughs> Sean, you might have converted me. 
It's got very nice balance. It's sweet, but I can taste the maple. Beautifully done on pie crust, crispy. The meringue could have been improved. If you get a stiffer meringue, you can probably get a bit more char in it. Overall, you deliver. You deliver. Well done. Thank you. The next home cook that we'd like to call up took a risk with some unusual flavor combinations. I feel like they're talking about me. I'm almost ready to pick up my plate. The home cook that made that dish is... Mary. This is a pan-seared Arctic char with a blueberry wine reduction and a carrot puree. Blueberries and Arctic char. I've never had that before. It's fantastic. I love the balance that you've achieved here. The Arctic char is perfect to medium rare, and the berries cut right through that. Thank you. Mary, if this is a taste of what's to come, I'm very excited. Really sincerely. Thank you so much. Presentation, I think, is outstanding. Just wonderful. This is a really well-balanced red wine sauce. You intensify those aromatic notes of the cassis, the vanilla, that work incredibly well with these wonderful East Coast blueberries from Nova Scotia. You're cooking with the mind of a chef. Thank you. The third and final home cook we're calling up used a number of ingredients in the most ambitious way. Please come to the front. Veronica. I'm excited. I had just given up hope, and then they said my name. I made a pan-seared Arctic char in a fish broth with a garnish of potatoes and wild rice. You certainly took more ingredients than anybody in this room. So let's cut into the fish. How do you like that fish? It should be medium. Well, spot on medium. Wow. Smooth, silky, crunchy, a bit of bite. It's a very, very nice combination. Thank you. I think this is a very stylish and sophisticated dish. And the fact that you use these little pommes gaufrettes as part of the garnish, wonderful. Thank you, chef. Beautiful, moist. You let the key ingredient shine there. If I could comment one little element, maybe a little knob of ginger would have given the broth a little pop. But overall, very well executed. Thank you, Chef. Sean, Mary, and Veronica. We're going to take a moment to deliberate. I think it's really important to win the first mystery box challenge because I want to be the one to beat. Looks like we have a competition on our hands. They were three outstanding dishes. They like my food. I've got a chance. Taking risks is one thing, but at the end of the day, it's what's on the plate. I expected myself to be here, and I think I'm going to come out victorious. All three of you honored the Canadian ingredients that we gave you. But one had a slight edge. And that home cook is... Sean. Congratulations. Wow. I baked for the first time, and I still beat 13 other amazing home cooks. Sean, you are now the cook to beat in this competition.